All right, guys, time for the faith walk of the day. I think we talk a lot about faith. We talk a lot about joy, but we think we think of joy as an after effect of something happening. And that is not the case. God is God is very intentional about us having joy and needing joy. We know the scripture that says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. I love that he reiterated what he wanted us to do. Rejoice in the Lord. And again, do it again. It's not a one-time situation. It's not just because, oh, my check came. I'm happy. Oh, I'm not sick. I'm happy. Oh, my kid. Just continuously being happy and joyful about all the Lord is going to do in your life, even if you haven't seen it yet. Because listen, what happens when you operate from a place of faith and love and joy and hope, hope in Christ, it's believing. It moves out the anxiety and the possibility of what could not happen because most of our fears are the possibility of what could not happen. What if it doesn't? What if I'm not? What if they don't? What if I can't? What if he can't? What if I'm forgotten, right? But when you live in a place of joy, you stay in a perpetual place of, I believe, I expect, I know, I understand, I trust, I rest in God. My hope is in Christ. I know he will. That stirs up the joy in your soul. Psalms 149 and 2 says, let the children rejoice in their king. Psalms 102 says, serve the Lord with gladness. That's for all y'all mean Christians out there. Psalm 67 and 4 says, let the heavens be glad. Let the earth rejoice. So not just people. God is commanding even the earth that he created to rejoice. Yes, I know bad things happen. And yes, I know situations come. But a lot of these things come because we kind of allow it. We don't take dominion over the atmosphere. We don't command the spirit of darkness to go. We don't command the spirit of fear and murder and angry and anger and envy and all these other things to go. We just let it rest because it is the way it is, quote unquote. That's the real world, quote unquote. I don't want the real world. I want what God created for me. What God, When God designed the beauty of humanity, I want that. And I believe that it's possible. And I think it starts with how you look at things, your outlook. Do you wake up and say the joy of the Lord is my strength? Do you wake up and, and say, I'll rejoice today. I'll give God praise today. I'll give him glory today. I know y'all know I pray every morning. And though, sometimes that's the prayer, depending on what the Lord puts on my heart. Sometimes I'm literally pray, praying for your joy, not just for mine, but for you, for you to be happy. For you to realize the joy of the Lord is your strength. For you to realize that putting a smile on your face and walking through your day with expectation does so much things, so many things for your soul. All right. Your joy is a priority to God. He wants you to be happy. Right. Being happy is not a sin. I know some Christians think I'm saver if I'm just walking around grumpy all the time. I don't want to serve a sad Jesus. Grumpy. Savor to me. Savor to me. I don't like it. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. 